Welcome to another training session of the TIA Portal. In today's session we will learn how to program real-time clocks in TIA Portal. Real-time clocks can be used to turn on or off PLC outputs or perform logic functions at particular times or make a schedule to perform logic functions at specific times. For example if we have to turn on the machine heater at 6 o'clock in the morning till 6 zero o'clock in the evening this can be done by using RDC. Before starting today's session please subscribe my channel to stay connected with me. You can find the links of the previous training sessions in the video description. First we will go the main program and go to date and time menu. From this menu we will select read system time command. We can drag and drop this command on the network. You use this instruction to read out the current date and current time of day of the CPU clock. You can query whether errors have occurred during execution of the instruction in the return value output. Now we have to make data block to store the current time and date. We can change its name to real time data. In this data block we will make a parent tag real time data and we have to select the DTL as data type. Now if we expand we can find current time and date tags. We can use these tags in programming to make required logics. Now we will go back to main block and select real time data block in the read system time instruction. Now read system time instruction will collect current values of time and date and save in the real time data block tags. Now we make a small logic to turn on the PLC output at a specific time using three comparator instructions. As you can see PLC output will be turned on at 925 and will be turned off at 930. Our program is good to go now we will load the program in PLC. Now we will go to the real time data block and monitor the time and date tags. PLC time and date is wrong now we have enter correct date and time to do this we will go to the online and diagnostics.
menu and select set time option. Here we can update the date and time of the PLC online. Now if we go the real time data block, we can see now time and date is correct. Since PLC time format is 24, so we have to enter 17 to select 9 o'clock in the evening. Now we will go offline and enter 17 for 9 o'clock in the evening. Now as you can see that at 1725 PLC output Q0.0 .0 is turned on. We will fast forward the video. Now you can see that at 17.30 PLC output Q0.0 .0 is turned off. Using this same instruction real-time clock you can schedule different operations. Please subscribe this channel to stay connected with me till next video goodbye.